Hey guys, what's up? It's Monday. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm Sierra. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We are in a crazy time. So what better time to subscribe to my channel? Because I'm making a bunch of YouTube videos because I'm practically unemployed because of the COVID-19 crisis. Anyways, today, Jason and I, my boyfriend, where's he at? He's probably trying to track down the cat. We are taking our cat, Violet, to the vet, and she is very unhappy about it. Um, and most things are closed down right now. They've closed down all restaurants and bars and public entertainment venues in Los Angeles right now but the vet is still open because it's considered a medical thing which is important because we have to check on her teeth um this is Violet T. Hey. Oh, you. look at that sweet baby. Oh, we gotta take her to the vet to check on her teeth because when we adopted her she oh oh into your bag <laughs> come on come on okay and I got your paws. Okay, zip, 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 quick, zip, quick, zip. We love. Sorry, we put you in your bag, Violet. We have to take you to the vet, but don't worry. We're gonna bring you home, it's not forever. When we adopted her, which is a little over three weeks ago, um, which is crazy, it feels like so much longer, um, she had actually had five teeth removed um, by the shelter because when she was brought in from her old family she had a bunch of major dental work that needed to be done um, which could have been why they brought her in we're not sure um, but they did it and she was healing great but we had to bring her in three weeks later after her first initial bed appointment to make sure her teeth are healing well so we're gonna go take her for a checkup you're doing okay good job kitten Jason is driving and I'm sitting in the back that way, Kitten has someone to sit with her in the back, so she's not lonely. Kitten. All right, Kitten. Off we go to the vet. Are you exploring? <laughs> We're in the vet's office. Ready? <gasps> Good jump. Good jump. They just took her temperature where they put the thermometer in her bum. She wasn't too happy about that one. Um, but we tried to pet her, and she's uh, trying to hide the evidence at the moment. <laughs> Bye. Uh, your poor kid. I don't know. I don't know. It's scary. I don't know. You're being so brave. So brave, kitty. What did you think when they looked at your teeth? Oh, do you want to go home? Is this how we get home? Yeah. So the day is shaping up to be kind of depressing. Um, yeah. It's dramatic. Uh, well, it is. Um, Jason and I are currently putting back together our, our washing machine. Uh, it's been having some really strange smells and so we had mold in certain places. I know that's gross. So we have been taking apart our washing machine and we have been, we just had it all, I cleaned every piece of it. Jason took it apart and then I took away a part, part of it and then I cleaned everything out, all the gunk, everything. And now we are putting the front piece back together. Um, the kind of riveting activities that you do when you are stuck in your house um, and have no work because both of our restaurant jobs closed. So because Disney is closed, I now have no work. So I guess I am now a full-time YouTuber. So hey guys, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm in a really bad mood. I'm trying to be positive and realize that so many people have it way worse. Um, Especially because Disneyland is still giving us mandatory closure pay. That's pretty much my only source of income right now um, But at least we have a sweet sleepy kitty. She is recovered from her vet visit today and is currently wrapped up Inside this blanket. Hello, my sweet angel baby Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm getting glared at. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. You can go back to your nap now. Hey guys, what's up? Hello from my house. It is quarantine day number five and I have a little bit of cabin fever. Um, I'm finding it's really hard to not just sit on my phone and spend the entire day staring at my phone and I'm actually getting like screen headaches from it. I needed to do something productive this morning. Um, so I cleaned my entire kitchen. We don't have a dishwasher at our house, so I did all of these dishes. We have not been good at doing the dishes, but I've been doing a lot of cooking and baking, so got a lot of pans and pots, um, washed our coffee maker stuff, did all of this. Um, I scrubbed the sink, wiped all this down. I cleaned our stove. I lifted all these pieces up and scrubbed everything under here, wiped down all of this, everything. I mopped the floor. 
um, swept right here, straightened up the table, um, folded the blankets. Hey, kitty. Hello. Good morning. So I'm just doing a lot of cleaning, um, doing my best to feel productive and busy. And now my new project that I'm working on right now is I am going to try out my new crock pot for the first time. So for Christmas, my parents got me this lovely teal crock pot, which is such a pretty color and it matches our kitchen accent color, which is teal. Um, got teal scissors, a teal tea kettle, um, teal pot holders and these things. Um, they're currently in the laundry at the moment, but oh, here's one. We have teal hand towels, a teal spatula. So that's kind of our kitchen accent colors. She sent me a chicken soup crock pot recipe here with everything. So I am gonna be trying that out today. It's gonna cook for about four to five hours, I think, and then you put it on low for a little bit after that. So I'm um, definitely gonna have it in time for dinner. Um, and I'm hoping to make a lot so that I can freeze some of it and I can put it in the freezer for, um, I don't know, in case somebody gets sick, emergency. We have a pretty well stocked freezer right now. We've got a good amount of stuff in here, which is good. Um, trying to stay as stocked as possible. Um, have a few things in the fridge. And then we stocked up in the pantry with some things like trail mix and soups and chips, cereal, um, you know, whatever else, some mac and cheese for Jason, um, you know, various things. I do wish we had a bigger pantry. I would die to have a walk-in pantry. Alrighty, some soup progress. I just FaceTimed with my mom for like 30 minutes and she was going through everything with me because yeah, she sent me the instructions, but like I missed her and I just wanted to FaceTime with her anyway. So I FaceTimed my mom and we talked through everything. So this is my progress. After cleaning the crock pot and getting all the inner pieces all cleaned, I cut green beans and carrots. Some of these these green bean pieces are still too long. I should probably, well, whatever. I don't feel like it. Um, and I cut carrots and green beans and celery. All of that was fresh and I cut that. But then um, these onion pieces, I'll show you. Do, 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 do. These onion pieces right here um, were in a bag. I got those from Trader Joe's because I honestly hate cutting onions, A, and B, they didn't have any whole yellow onions anyway, so that worked in my favor. Um, so now I'm going to add this organic bone broth of chicken and I'm going to put it in here and then turn this on high because you should not turn it on if there is no liquid in it. So I'm gonna turn that on high, do some seasoning and then be able to taste it and then I'm gonna cut up my chicken and I'm going to put the raw chicken in and once the raw chicken is in I obviously cannot taste it anymore until it is full co fully cooked because that would be salmonella. We're gonna get out some spices. I don't have some things I should like I don't have rosemary and I don't have um, uh, not oregano. I don't have rosemary and I don't have sage but we've got peppercorn and we've got salt and some garlic so I'm gonna use some of those. My mom says that the one of the most important steps at the end is putting in butter. Now, I don't do butter because I'm lactose intolerant, so I will be adding do, 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 Earth Balance Organic. Um, this stuff has been sold out at like every store everywhere, so I stocked up and got a few of them last time I was at the grocery store um, because I'm terrified of not having this because I use it for pretty much anything you would use butter for or baking and anything because it is amazing. So, but that goes in near the end, so we'll put that in later. So all of my raw chicken is in there and now I have to cover the rest up with water. So I'm just gonna keep adding water until it's about three quarters of the way full and the water will mix with the broth. I can't really tell, I wish there was like some kind of max line. That's probably three quarters of the way full. So the few things I'm missing here is I don't have rosemary sage, I don't have tomatoes or tomato paste, and I don't have a corn or tapioca starch for thickening. I have none of those things. So that is what I'm missing. That is what would have come in the next time I make soup, but we're gonna have to make do with what we got. Oh, 
My soup is looking pretty good. It's five o'clock right now, so it's been cooking for three hours. I'm gonna leave it cooking for probably another two hours before I t open the lid or do anything, but it's definitely thickening up. You can kind of see it through there. A lot of the stuff is coming to the top. It's definitely thickening, so very excited about that. I'm gonna go take some nail polish and go outside and paint my nails um, for something to do. It's important to remember with all this that like just because it's, uh, just because we're not supposed to be doing gatherings and going in public and staying home doesn't mean you literally can't go outside and get fresh air. So go for a walk around the block, go for a bike ride, go for a hike if you're in an area where there aren't a lot of people or you can stick to yourself. Um, but yeah, I think Jason and I are gonna go on a hike in the next few days um, on a day that it's nice weather. But yeah, it's actually really nice to come out here and get some fresh air. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here so I can edit it and put it up for you guys tonight so that you have something to watch while you're all hanging out at home. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Lots of new videos coming for uh, Vlogantine, Quarinmus, I don't know. <laughs> it's like Vlogmas but quarantine, I don't know. Bye, stay safe out there.